today we will have our new topic which is all about the prokaryotes. Prokaryotes or prokaryotic cells are unicellular organisms or these are the organism that is composed of only one cell. Biruin nyo yun, isang cell lang that is considered as an organism. And then, we also have, like what we have tackled last time, the eukaryotes. Eukaryotes are usually multicellular, meaning to say, multi or multicellular. It is composed of many cells, like animal cells, like that, like plant cells. But there are also exceptions. For example, there are eukaryotes that compose only of one kind of cell. So, meron din namang mga eukaryotes na single cell but most of the prokaryotes are all unicellular so they are prokaryotes because their dna are not enclosed in a membrane so tulad ng sinabi natin last time they do not have the nucleus or the nuclear membrane so their dna is just scattered in their cytoplasm so nakakalat lang sa cytoplasm ang kanilang dna and for us to know more about the prokaryotes the parts and the function of your organelles. Let us watch this. At about 3.5 billion years old, bacteria are one of the oldest living organisms on Earth. Considering the evolution of life, they are about as distantly related to humans as possible. But wow, are they important to us! They are responsible for a range of diseases, including cholera, tuberculosis, and the plague amongst others. But they aren't all bad. There are trillions of good bacteria living in your gut that are essential to your health. In fact, there are approximately 10 times more bacterial cells than human cells in your body. They can keep the produce vitamins, prevent tumor formation, help the immune system fight pathogens and protect against carcinogens, among other benefits. Bacteria cells are very small, much smaller than plant and animal cells. They are found practically everywhere on Earth and live in some of the most unusual and seemingly inhospitable places. As a result, they come in lots of different shapes and sizes. Bacteria are unicellular prokaryotes. different organelles and its parts and its functions so now we will classify or we will group them according to its shapes there are three shapes of the bacteria and we can classify them as the sphere shape or the circular we have the rod shape and we have the spiral shape so uh, the spherical shape or the round shape is what we call the coccus if it is singular and uh, if it's plural it is cocci and we have the rod shape which is called as the bacillus if it is singular and bacilli if they are many and the spiral shape which is called the spirillum if it is singular and spirilla if it is uh, plural and uh, those different shapes of bacteria has its own name and coccus usually can be found in our or on our skin and inside our mouth and bacilli or bacillus is usually can be found in the commercial Yakult the Lactobacilli. And then we have the spirilla or spiral shape. These are the bacteria that can be found in leptospirosis by, caused by the bacteria Leptospira. So uh, let us all learn and enjoy knowing these different shapes of bacteria. See you guys! Despite being very different shapes and sizes, they contain the same elements. As they are prokaryotes, they do not have a membrane-bound nucleus. The DNA is in the cytoplasm, in the area known as the nucleoid. Bacteria have a flexible cell wall that protects them from physical damage and is exposed to the external surroundings, a flagellum that helps the bacteria to move. Bacteria have two types of DNA, plasma DNA and chromosomal DNA. The chromosomal DNA carries most of the genetic information. The plasmid DNA forms small loops 
and carries extra information such as resistance to antibiotics, production of toxins and tolerance to toxic environments. The ribosome is involved in protein synthesis. The pili enable the bacteria to attach to hosts and surfaces like teeth, intestines and rocks. They are also involved in DNA exchange between bacteria. So there you have the components of bacteria cells. As bacteria are prokaryotes, they do not have a true nucleus but lose DNA in the nucleoid. They also have loops of plasmid DNA and a flagella and lots of pili. Hey, so guys, do not forget to like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. See ya!